Well, uh, this is where they planted Hank. He's right over here. I'm up on Arthur's Ridge. It's been discovered. Geez, I used to come here in the 80s and people would ignore the place. And then over here we got Hawthorne. He's in one of these unmarked mystery things, reputedly. I think it's this one. And him and Henry didn't get along. He called Henry a walking rebuke. And then over here, the throngs are drawn to Emerson's rendition of I Want to Be Liberace which we'll examine momentarily. It's a huge piece of bright pink qu quartz. <laughs> he was flamboyant, I guess. And his extensive family buried nearby. I wonder what they'll do now that writing is becoming a thing of the past. Will we one day, a hundred years hence, have Content Makers Hill? <laughs> Video Row? Who knows? I'll wait for the excited throngs to render some breathing space and see what we make of old Ralphie boy. <laughs> It seems to mostly be a chick thing. <laughs> God, it used to be so quiet here in the 80s. So, we're in the home stretch of figuring out Arthur's Ridge. And really, just a handful of authors. And really, Henry was one of the few that had much of an impact. What do you really make of Louisa May Alcott? Or <laughs> all these other schlubs. They were just early crappy novel writers, but they were our early crappy novel writers. Henry was guilty of actually thinking. Children's author. <sighs> A perfectly respectable calling. But the real star attraction, as I alluded to earlier, is Emerson's thing over here. Where is he? It's very pink. Unless it's gotten discolored. Could that be it? Why, that does look a bit pink. Good heavens. Yeah, it's been aged. Walked right by it. It's Ralph. It's rather complicated array of relatives. It was shinier before. It looks like it needs a bit of cleaning. There. That would be Ralph. It ain't pink no more. Kind of sad. I suppose if they gave it a good scrubbing the pinkness would one day again be more readily evident. Let's see. Now this is our ingress. Yep. That's Ralphie, who lived longer than all of them. 1803 to 1882. 
Elton Henry. There's his missus. The entire Emerson clan. Literary pretensions in this day and age are an increasingly quaint conceit. Once upon a time, though, people made real money off of this stuff. As boneyards go, I'd have to say I prefer Mount Auburn. And this is really a repurposed esker. I wonder what Henry would have made of being buried in an esker. Funny little plot, family of Huguenot pencil makers and their layabout son who fancied himself an author to their improbable never-ending derision. <laughs> I wonder if there was an American equivalent to the Earl of Sandwich or whoever it was with his another damn fat book, eh, Mr. Gibbons? Scribble, 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 eh, Mr. Gibbons? Anyway, we're out of here. Now it's time to go. Get some chow and a train. I think I've had enough of Concord for one day. 